Hey kids, today we will be learning about mollusk. Are you ready? Let's begin. Mollusks are invertebrate animals, meaning they don't have backbones. That is because it would be very hard for a snail to slide into its shell, or an octopus to sneak into a tight corner if they had backbones. Mollusks are soft-bodied animals. Most mollusks have a hard shell that protects their body. Like snails, clams, mussels, oysters, and scallops. Other mollusks don't have shells. Examples of mollusks that have no shells are octopus, squid, cuttlefish, slugs, and sea slugs. Most mollusks are marine. However, many mollusks also live in freshwater and terrestrial habitats. Some snails and slugs live on land. They prefer cool, moist places, but they also can be found in cold regions and even in dry deserts. Mollusk comes from the Latin word mollus, which simply means soft. Let's go over the main features of a mollusk. Mollusks have a mantle with a cavity used for breathing and excretion. The mantle is the dorsal body wall which covers the visceral mass. It is the organ that produces the shell by secreting calcium-based crystals. They have a radula. The radula is the toothed chitinous ribbon in the mouth of most mollusks. It is quite similar to a tongue. It is used for cutting and chewing food before it enters the esophagus. They have a nervous system. The nervous system of mollusk is quite unique. It only consists of nerve cords and ganglia. Ganglia are masses of nerve cell bodies. As for a special feature, mollusks have a muscular foot. It is mainly used for movement and attachment. Mollusks have several classifications. Gastropods, cephalopods, and bivalves. We will learn more of these different types starting with gastropoda. The term gastropoda means stomach foot or belly footed. The foot of gastropods secretes mucus for movement lubrication. Examples of gastropods with shells include the limpets, abalones, and snails. However, some gastropods have no shells. They include slugs and nudibranch. Another type of mollusk is cephalopoda. The term cephalopod means head-footed. Cephalopods have feet which are attached to the head containing their eyes. They have multiple leg-like body parts that they use to catch food and move around. Most cephalopods lack shells. They are also believed to be the smartest mollusk. Cephalopods only survive in salt water. This is the reason why you never heard of people finding squid or octopus in their pond. Examples of cephalopods are squid, nautilus, cuttlefish, and octopus. And the last one, bivalvia. They are called bivalves because they have two shells, which can open and close together to cover their body and give protection. The foot of bivalves is used either for burrowing or for attaching to wood or other materials. Bivalves only live in the water, 
but they can live in either salt water or fresh water. Many bivalves serve as food source. Examples are clams, mussels, oysters, and scallops. Here are fun facts about mollusk. Some oysters alternate their gender, male one year and a female the next. An unhatched baby octopus can squirt ink. Octopi have the most developed eyes of all invertebrates. They can see in color. Mollusks are the largest marine phylum, comprising about 23% of all named marine organisms. The octopus has an amazing defense. They can change their coloring to blend in with their surroundings. They can squirt out ink to distract a predator. Finally, octopus can deliver a very nasty bite with their beaks if necessary. Most squids are small, but the giant squid is huge. It can grow up to 55 feet long. Their eyes are the size of beach balls, which lets them see in the dark ocean. An octopus have eight tentacles, whereas cuttlefish and squid have ten. And that is all for today's lesson about mollusk. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.